हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूनिट वन दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रैक्शनल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस कूलम्स लॉ कूलम्स लॉ इन वेक्टर फॉर्म व्हाट इज यूनिट ऑफ चार्ज एंड व्हाट इज रिलेटिव पॉमिटिविटी और डाइलेक्ट्रिक कॉन्स्टेंट सो वट इज फ्रैक्शनल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी Frictional electricity is the electricity produced by rubbing two suitable bodies and transfer of electrons from one body to other. Now, if we generally rub a glass with silk, so what will happen? Electrons in glass are generally loosely bound in it than the electrons in silk. So, when glass and silk are rubbed together, the comparatively loosely bound electrons from glass get transferred to silk as a result glass becomes positively charged and silk becomes negatively charged electrons in fur are loosely bound in it than the electrons in ebonite so when ebonite and fur are rubbed together the comparatively loosely bound electrons from fur get transferred to ebonite as a result ebonite becomes negatively charged and fur becomes positively charged it is very important to note that electrification of the body whether positive or negative is due to transfer of electrons from one body to another that is if electrons are transferred from a body then the deficiency of electrons makes the body positive and if the electrons are gained by a body then the excess of electrons makes the body negative if the two bodies from the following list are rubbed then the body appearing early in the list is positively charged whereas the latter is negatively charged now the properties of charges the first one is there exist only two types of charges namely positive charge and negative charge second like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other charge is a scalar quantity the next point is charge is additive in nature suppose we want to add two charges or three charges they can be added algebraically suppose one charge is having two coulomb charge one is having 5 coulomb charge and one is having minus 3 coulomb charge so the total charge is 4 coulomb we can add algebraically the next property is charge is quantized that is electric charge exists in discrete packets rather than in continuous amount so it can be expressed in integral multiples fundamental electronic charge that is e the base unit of minimum value of charge is e which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so we can write quantization of charge q is equal to plus minus n e where n is an integer and e is the base unit or you can say the minimum value of charge on electron and proton the next property is charge is conserved that is the algebraic sum of positive and negative charges in an isolated system remains constant it does not change with velocity also now the next topic is coulomb's law so the force between two point electric charges the electrostatic force of interaction that is attraction or repulsion between two point electric charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and acts along the line joining the two charges strictly speaking coulomb's law applies to stationary point charges so here we have two charges q1 and q2 and the distance between them is r so by coulomb's law f is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of their charges so f is directly proportional to q1 into q2 
and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So f is directly proportional to 1 upon r square. So if we combine these two equations, we get f is directly proportional to q1 q2 upon r square. So we can write this expression as f is equal to k q1 q2 upon r square where k is positive constant of proportionality or electrostatic force constant or Coulomb's constant which is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught where epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. Now in medium the value of k that is proportionality constant k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon where epsilon is the absolute electric permittivity of the electric medium. The dielectric constant or relative permittivity of specific inductive capacity or dielectric constant is given by k which is epsilon r which is equal to epsilon upon epsilon naught that is permittivity of medium to the permittivity of free space and in vacuum your f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square and in medium it can be written as f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into epsilon r q1 q2 upon r square where the value of epsilon naught is 8.8542 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square and the value of k that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square now if we want to write the Coulomb's law in vector form, so in vacuum, if q1 and q2, the product of q1, q2 is greater than 0, then force on first due to second can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1, q2 upon r square into unit vector r to 1. And force on second due to first can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square unit vector r12. Now in vacuum for q1 and q2 is less than 0. So q1 into q2 is less than 0. Then we can write force on first due to second can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square unit vector r12 and force on second due to first can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r square into unit vector r to 1. So in general the force on first due to second is negative of force on second due to first. The cube term of the distance is simply because of vector form. So if we want to write this in vector form we can write force on first due to second is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r cube into vector r12. Now what is the unit of charge? The SI unit of charge is coulomb. What is 1 coulomb? 1 coulomb of charge is that charge which when placed at rest in vacuum at a distance of 1 meter from an equal and similar stationary charge repels it and is repelled by it with a force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton then we can say it is 1 Coulomb charge. Now relative permittivity or dielectric constant or specific inductive capacity or dielectric coefficient. So the dielectric constant or relative permittivity or specific inductive capacity or dielectric coefficient is given by the ratio of the absolute permittivity of the medium to the permittivity of free space. So we can write it as k is equal to epsilon r which is epsilon upon epsilon naught or the dielectric constant or relative permittivity or specific inductive capacity or dielectric coefficient can also be defined as the ratio of the electrostatic force between two charges separated by a certain distance in vacuum to the electrostatic force between the same two charges 
separated by the same distance in that medium. So again we can write k is equal to epsilon r which is force in vacuum upon force in medium and the dielectric constant has no unit. Thank you.